And um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about important things, like how Peter's newborn is doing. How how is your newborn doing, man? Uh, you know, when it comes to family, I like to keep that private. But because you asked, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll answer that question. Uh, you know, you know, I I I thought about this the other day. You know that like, um. It's it's extremely exhausting. It is extremely high anxiety uh, environment with just having one kid, you know. But I have four. Um, I can imagine. It's, man. it's taken so much of my time. Uh, uh, it's exhausted me. Um, you know, it, it's it's a financial um, uh, responsibility. Um, but but it's it's one of the most rewarding thing I've done. Uh, being a parent you know so so if you're thinking about doing it you know definitely you know commit to it um because it's a lifelong thing you know this 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 draining uh this exhaustion this you know um financial quit, yeah it's it's for the rest of your fucking life and and so i understand <laughs> well that. at least yeah at least until they're 18 right no 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 no, no. It's, it's for the rest of your life dude <laughs> It's it's literally it's for the rest of their life because they're gonna come back to you, and they're gonna say shit, and they're always gonna because they're always gonna look to you, right, for yeah. uh, for guidance, and then um, you know as yeah. a parent, um, especially when you're focused about legacy, you know you, you're you're always gonna want to guide them in their, into their you know adulthood, into their manhood or, or womanhood, and um, you're you're gonna want to kind of be the coach, you know, when they have their own family and. Um, when they start, you know, having their own kids, right? Then you kind of want to, you know, give the give wisdom to them as well, and then they're gonna. Yeah, so, so it's a lifelong commitment, is what I'm saying. And, and so, I know that it's it's rewarding so far. Um, but that's that's how it's been, man. Man, that's how it's been. yeah, that's yeah, man. That's um, it's being a dad, man. Being a father. I mean, I'm I'm not in that shoes yet, but. I mean, I can imagine how much you have to sacrifice to, uh, for yeah. them. You know, it's, That's your it financial, is. your time, your energy. What do you What do you do when you do have time for yourself, man? Uh, I just I just beat off and play games, dude. That's that's it, man. <laughs> Damn, that sounds like. A but life. it's it's like real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, I wash my hands. Got to clean. Got to clean up, and then. And then when I do get to play games, it's like thirty minutes, and oh yeah, man, it's just it's just it's just your your whole life change, yeah. You know? Yeah, damn. Uh, especially especially when they're young too, you know, because you always got to keep an eye on them, make sure they're not, you know, doing anything they're not supposed to, and and you're 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 constantly uh, nurturing them, uh, or I guess nurturing them, or, or or getting them building their habits, you know, because if they're just on their tablet, you know, so long and not doing. Anything, any other activity so it's, it's just you, know, you you don't have time for yourself as much you know so do they ever crave for the tablet over you or like just like oh yeah dude dude, dude man i don't exist dude once they on the their devices man their dad their daddy don't exist man do you think okay do you think that's the um easier way to settle your kids Oh, to, what? you know, just the give them, give them a tablet. Of, hey, here's a tablet. And sometimes, do thing, versus... most times, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real honest. Man. Most <laughs> times, dude, that's the babysitter, dude. <laughs> do Do you think? Do you think that's gonna like, you know, be a big impact in the future for them? Oh, oh yeah, it is gonna fuck them up, dude. <laughs> They're not on the tablets to better themselves, dude. They're just consuming junk, you know. So, yeah. so, so, so that's the thing, right? Is that I'm, I'm monitor those things. I'm, I mean, well, I, I try anyways, and then um, just making sure that they're learning their ABCs, their numbers. Okay, so you're, they're stuff. learning educational stuff. Eh, you know, for the most part, I, I would say it's like fifty fifty, because like my my son okay. plays games now too, and then my daughter plays games with him sometimes. Um, but they're on YouTube as as well sometimes, and and if, if they're not if not if they're not watching the educational stuff, then they're at least watching you know not junk ish you know like behavior yeah. things and stuff like that so i know i know the vr is kind of ahead of our time ish in, in, in a way i mean i know a lot of kids are on vr you know i'm sure there's a community behind it but do you think that they're going to be more isolated in in the future and like in like you know 10 years from now when they're teenagers do you think they, they're going to be more isolated 
It, it depends on the parenting, man. I I I hundred percent believe that the parenting you laid the groundwork for them to, you know, know that family is important. Family time you incorporate family family time into, you know, their daily living. You know, um, so when they so do, when it, yeah, go ahead. Whenever you have dinner, right? Do you not have have tablets at all? And do you guys have like a like a regular dinner? Everyone's on the table eating only, no tablets, kind of thing. Sometimes it's Real. not consistent. I, that, that's something that I need to work on is is um, technology. I mean, because like I, I'm on it all the time too, so I'm I'm guilty of it. And and, and that's, that's where fair. that's where they're picking up their habits is just their mom and dad is on the phone all the time. And, you know, the other day my son said when I was driving him to school, he was like, "Daddy, you gotta take a break." I'm like, what? Because, <laughs> like, I play games hella late, you know, when everybody's sleeping. Yeah. He's like, you yeah, got to take yeah. a break and go to sleep. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. This five-year-old this five-year-old correcting me, man. I'm just like, you're right, man. You're right. You ain't wrong. <laughs> um, I was like, man, dude, in my, I'm, in my head, I'm like, man, I'll pay for everything, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, but, yeah, 100%. He's right. Um, You know, you know, uh, there's sometimes that you know when when parents grow up they have a certain ego of like being right all the time oh yeah yeah um do you think you know when it comes down to i'm not saying you know in, in the in the future let's just say that your kids start to you know argue back with you about them being right and they're teenagers how would you how do you think you're gonna like work that out do they they talk back now man you know um yeah. okay. so so i think it's it's a it's a matter of just working on a communication you know just like yeah just like in your relationship with the boyfriend girlfriend or, or marriage right it's that uh communication piece of why you need to do this and you know and and and, and from parent to child right it's just you know you have to wake up and go to school and they start asking why and shit and you just i don't know it's that communication piece you know um yeah yeah because because they they are gonna get more smarter more intelligent and they're gonna start thinking for themselves and they're gonna start asking these questions that you may or may not have the answer to and you know and that's when you turn to chat gpt dude <laughs> ask the, yeah, ask the uh, ai don't ask me son <laughs> or or you know th- th- uh, these are these these are gonna be you know i look forward to those days because those are gonna be like opportunities to just kind of you know, share, share, uh, I guess, way of thinking, you know? Yeah. Do, do you think your kids now are, they, they lean towards you as a cool dad now versus like, oh, do I want to go to mommy or do I, do I want to go to daddy kind of thing? I think they have, um, I think they had their fun with me. Um, but they know that I'm also like the, the disciplined person. So they don't ask when they want something, they don't ask me. Uh, they go okay. to their, they go to their mom and, Interesting. I think I think that's how it usually is on most um, yeah. families. Yeah, is the mother is more um, love loving and, and and less disciplined. Um, yeah, because yeah, whenever when I was a kid, I always go to my mother um, and ask my mother if she can ask my dad, you know, yeah. to do things or sleep at somebody's house or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, well. The well, typically the 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 wife isn't really all that intimidating you know so yeah they're more nurturing and, and loving for sure um you know it's it's, it's just in the nature too it's not just like oh they're they want to be that way or it's just more um uh, of in their nature so yeah. uh yeah that's cool man uh that's cool man i can't wait to have kids someday 